All right, guys, what's going on? I am in Arkansas right now, Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I'm at the, uh, uh, they call it the Playbook uh, Training Camp, I believe it is, and I'm here with uh, Blake Hawthorne and uh, Kevin from Fall River, and Blake is, uh, it's his turf. So this is a uh, two-day class that they put together, kind of a hands-on uh, training course for lawn care guys like myself, like most of you guys. And um, this is day two. I'm actually about five minutes late. I think they're already up there in the meeting. They're up there and I'm down here. And when we just continue to level, it starts to make that soil fertile. And eventually over time, it finally gets them curious enough to ask. And that opportunity may come after a week, a month, a year, 10 years. 8.30 from so the time that the guys clock in to the time that they actually get on their first job site making me money is between an hour and an hour so and that's a half. part of your hourly, hour, hourly rate you were talking about accounting for that hour and a, hour to hour and a half you're not working and not making money, you gotta make sure you're covered for it. Right, so those 17 properties aren't based on this the 17 properties aren't based on the seven and a half hours in the field that we actually spent working. Those 17 properties are based on the nine and a half hours that it took for that day to actually complete it. The 30 minutes at the shop, the hour of gas station and drive time to get to it, the 15 minute break, you know, middle of the day, the 30 minute lunch, the 15 minute break in the afternoon, and then the drive back to the shop to get the truck unloaded and to get off the clock. All right, so like I said, this is a two day class. Uh, this week it was Monday and Tuesday and it, it's a class where you you get to sit inside you do some uh, you actually do some homework um, obviously Blake and Kevin are kind of going through the things that have made them successful um, going through you know just all different types of business starting from the culture of your business uh, employees um, how they structure their business um, yearly contracts uh, right now we're going through bidding and uh, yesterday we did some HOA stuff um, how we bid those and then uh, today what we're doing is uh, we actually have a bid sheet that they came up with that they use in their business and uh, we're going to a property and uh, we're going to bid that property uh, and see what we come up with and we're bidding any, everything from mowing, uh, bush trimming, flower beds, mulch, and uh, sprinklers. Something like if we jumped over here as I'm walking the property, same thing, I'm counting as I'm going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you doing anything for uh, pulling weeds and rock beds and things like that? Or That'll fall under my total kill for my four gallons that I do each month. Okay. Okay, so I'm, when I see a bed like this that has rock, it automatically gets a check on total kill spray. I'm doing it. It's part of the contract. You're getting charged, you know, for that rate. So one thing I wanted to share with you guys real quick before we kind of continue into this video was the fact that this is something unique. This is something that I've never seen before. I mean, obviously guys have uh, programs you can buy online. They have uh, contracts you can buy. You can have all different types of things. But what makes this unique is the fact that you can actually, you can ask questions that are specific to, to your business in your area. So a lot of, a lot of times, um, what, the one thing I found out, nothing is really universal. So, um, and everybody's situation is different. Like me, you know, I have another full-time job. Um, I wouldn't say my lawn care is part-time because I still do it full-time, but it's a little bit different uh, structure than what it would be if I only did lawn care. So, um, you know, to be able to ask questions that are particular for me and my situation is very, very key uh, in, in, in my opinion because um, you, you, you can't really do exactly what somebody else is doing because their situation um, is possibly really different than what your situation is. And I'm not just talking business, I'm talking about life in general. So, you know, for me, I got three kids, I'm married, I got, uh, you know, certain things I gotta, 
I have responsibilities I have to take care of. Well, if you're a single guy with no kids, no wife, no girlfriend or something like that, well, your, your time is, uh, you got more time than I do. I mean, so my point is, is that um, you, you see all these online classes and online programs and all that type of stuff. And don't get me wrong, I think they're great. You can get a lot of great information. But if you really want some hands-on and you really want some, uh, some kind of in-depth to where you can actually ask questions that are particular for you. I think this training course is a very, very well put together course. The two days I was there, um, I thought it was well planned out. I thought they did everything um, uh, very, very well as far as you do the classroom stuff. You kind of figure out, you know, why you're doing these certain things, and then you actually go out and you implement those things, and they teach you how how they they do it and how they're being successful so and this is by no means a plug I'm not getting paid for any of this I'm not uh, I'm not any way affili affiliated with uh, Kevin and uh, and Blake at uh, Turf and Tools uh, but if there's information that I think that, that is useful for people I want to share it because I want I want people to prosper I want people to uh, to have resources that if you need help there's resources out there so like I said I'm not for, in no way affiliated or getting paid for this I just wanted to share it because I thought it was a really cool program and if you ever have the chance to go then I would I would recommend it if you're somebody like me that is needing some help so Kevin from Fall River you're the other half of the Blake and Kevin team the it's playbook team turf right and tools turf and tools, tools. sorry turf and tools so You've actually went through all this training, and you've actually sat down with Blake for what a year? A year yeah, now? a little, a little over a year. So, what what has your experience been working with Blake and kind of getting your just hands on with the playbook? What I'm excited about is the fact that, like in the last two days, you've got to do what I did for the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, a year ago, I was riding around in the truck with Blake and getting the opportunity to see his properties and uh, the same games we were out there playing when we were out in the field on uh, figuring out the prices he was playing those games with me and I remember a year ago talking to him about the fact that there are so many guys out there just like me that need to hear all these things and I just wish there was a way we could do it and figure out a way to help other guys learn what I'm learning so quickly and a year and a couple months later We've got guys here, and they're actually getting to see what I've seen over the last year. How satisfying is that for you? That's exciting to me, because like, it was something back then that I never thought would actually happen. Mm -hmm. And wow. over the year, we built, and we built, and Blake and I's friendship has grown over that year. And little by little, it was like turf and tools came around, and let's start mm -hmm. helping each, or let's start helping other people. Let's get these documents out there and let's get this training camp going. And it's just exciting to see it all come together and have these guys here. See, you know, we've been friends for a long time. Like five I've, years. I've been friends with Blake, <laughs> you know, ever since I met, met Blake, awesome guy. He's the one holding the camera, by the way. That's why I keep pointing that way. But, uh, but anyway, and I've talked to Blake about certain things, and I've talked to you about certain things, and it all kind of res resonates with me, but at the same time, you just don't see it fully unless you're here experiencing uh, the playbook, as you guys call it. Right. Actually out there on the property and out going through the steps of doing a 12-month contract for a client. Yeah, it's one thing to see a video and see somebody talk about something, but whenever you have that hands-on where he's in the middle of that sentence and you can kind of mm -hmm. interject and ask that question that exactly. you want to ask, right on the spot that one-on-one -on -one feel that we have and, yeah. and not only just Blake but myself being there too because Blake is a very good example of big business and getting to that big business which is what most people want to get to and then you got me talking about the solo life mm -hmm. and trying to get where they're at yeah yeah see what the one thing that really really strikes me with Blake is like I kind of see myself as like a very 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 miniature uh, Blake because I kind of <laughs> grew my business to a certain point right struggled a lot and now I'm trying to rebuild He's already rebuilt his and I'm I'm well you both did the same thing with the downsize exactly and you know of course my you know 
my height and my downsize is a little bit different than Blake's, but you know, I'm gonna use his strategy to try to help build mine back up. And I think it's a perfect example on how to do it. So, thank you, man. All Appreciate right. it. Thanks. Had a good time. Always fun hanging out with you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got Blake here with It's His Turf. Wanted to ask you kind of, um, kind of how you got this started and kind of what you want to get out of it. Absolutely. So, man, how we got started was really just kind of, you know, going to GIE back in 17, figuring out what some businesses were struggling with, you know, um, and it was really just as I talked to other business owners, everybody kind of had the same reoccurring problem, you know, that was getting annual revenue, um, you know, just having, um, you know, finding clients and then just building a sustainable business model. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of guys were having trouble retaining employees. And so it just got me thinking about some things that I had taken as like common knowledge, um, some things that I had just taken for granted for how easy they came to me. And I said, man, what are some things that I can do to just help, you know, these other businesses? And so I um, actually met Kevin Fall River over there, uh, you know, at, at GIE that year and started, you know, realized we were 40 minutes away from each other, started talking about his business. And the more that we dug into his business, the more that we started to create these things and dig into these things that created processes and procedures for companies that could be replicated. And so it was good because it opened my eyes to div different demographics, different business models and ways that we could create equations that guys could turn around and see it and then implement these things into their business that would help them kind of fill those voids and fill those holes within their companies. Yeah, the one thing I think is really, really cool that I, I just I haven't seen uh, before was the hands-on. You know, I've never had somebody go out to a property with me and say, hey, this is how we do it. This is how we've been successful. And, you know, it might help you out if you implement this in your business, right. which I thought was really cool. Some of the stuff that we had learned in the class, you know, I had already kind of picked up on. I've talked to you before about a few, a few different things. Right. But culture was a big one uh, for this two days for me, seeing how your, your whole uh, company culture is. And um, I knew kind of beforehand that that was kind of a big thing. Right. But I really didn't, I, I didn't know at the same time, if that makes any sense. So just seeing how your company is run from the inside out has been a real eye opener for me. So anyway, thank Absolutely. you. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Had a great time. Glad you came. What did y'all do last night? We made a video. I just stood there and laughed a whole lot at these two fools. So we made a video, by the way. Um, <laughs> if you guys have ever wanted to see a dance off in on, the lawn care community. On lawn mowers. On lawn mowers. It's, it's, it's kind of a can't miss. It's a can't miss because uh, Blake made a fool out of himself. I didn't. You should have seen Brian. <laughs> <laughs> this was really good. All I know is Walker won. Team Walker. Yeah, baby. <laughs>